Hi back again. Today I show you tutorial in Blender 2.8. Um, we use vertex painting. Why we should use that is um, there you can paint one part of a mesh and can say that part should be textured in one texture and the rest of it should be textured in the other texture. So where we can use that? At a wall. That's a sample. So I press 1 on the numpad to look from front. We have front here, but it's perspectivic, so I press numpad 5. So we autographic view. That should be our wall. So we scale Y, scale X, that is our wall. We want to have two textures on it, one brick material and one grass or moss material. So how we do that? We give them a material here, we call it wall, bring up here a little bit more space, open up here the shader editor for the notes, and then Uh, we need these two textures in there. And that means we add texture, image texture. We need two of them. I said it before. So Shift D, make two of them. Um, the principal shader we need then two times two. So Shift D, duplicate them. We connect the first image, the color to the base color, here the same, the image, color to base color of the principal shader. So we open up our first um, texture, so we go here to open, and uh, I downloaded that by textures.com, there you can do it too. And now I take here a texture, maybe that one. Uh, I connect now the principal shader with the surface. And then you will see that we have now the texture there. But you see it isn't uh, create, uh, it's to create and um, it isn't correct mapped. That's because of the unwrap and we need for that an input for the coordinates and a mapping. So we take here input, texture coordinates. That gives us the UV. Where is the texture in the U? axis or in the Wii axis. It is 2D. Don't forget it. Add vector mapping. With this mapping we can change the location, the rotation and the scale of this texture we put on. So we connect the UV with the vector of the mapping. We say it is a texture we get the vector to the vector of the image, our texture. So we have that. Now you will see when I scale here, then that will change. So we can type here 2, then you see it is bigger when I type here point 0.2. And here point 0.2 is much smaller. And I think that should be the one we take. Uh, the only thing we can do is unwrap that here new. So I go edit mode with tap key on the numpad, uh, <laughs> on the keyboard.
and hit U and say unwrap project from view. Now it is correctly mapped there without this part. That means when you want to texture them, better take them and hit U, cube projection or unwrap or smart UV project. Each like you would. You can change them then in an other uh, thing that is called the UV image editor. There you can um, yeah, move that all in other directions and so on. But it's not the point. So we have now that and we want to put on some most grass texture there on. How we do that? First we search here our grass texture in this other image. So open most and here is most material. I'll take it one. So we have here the wall material and here the most material. This here needs a vector 2 from the mapping. So we bring down here the vector from the mapping into the vector of the image. So we have that. Now we need something to mix them together. That means we need add shader a mix shader. Bring them between the principal and the surface and put in the other principal shader in the mix shader. Now it should be mixed. In moment you see it is mixed 50-50 by the factor. So we have half stone and half of this um, mousse material. But we don't want that. We don't. We want that it is only at the down part with this most material. So for that, there is the option to make vertex paint. That you can select here. There is vertex paint. What does vertex paint? Vertex paint allows you um, to paint each face in another uh, each selection or or marking or s yeah in another texture like I said before but you see that here it has only six faces or such so that is two less so we have to um, make more faces into so that we can do with a modifier with the subdivision surface um, when we look now we give them a view from 3 to uh, 2 to 3 or 3 to 3 you see now that is the new wall but we don't want that it is round completely so we go in there and Control R to make a loop in. Roll the middle mouse button to duplicate the loops, and then scale X to bring them to an uh, end position near there. In the top and down part, we need a two, so Control R again. Roll the middle mouse button to duplicate, and then bring each one to his position by grabbing set is G and set and G set here we can let that a little bit because it is rounded and the top so we have done that uh, we have to um, apply then now you see we have much more faces that we can paint on and when we take here another subdivision surface then it is multiplied to real good stuff that you can paint all you want good um, we have that now we have another object because we changed 
the topology of each. So we have to apply that first. So we go back to object mode and say object apply rotation scale. Then we have to unwrap that new before because we have a new topology. So we have to do that again. So we make here projection from view again and we see that's better. But it is a 50-50 mix. So what happened? Nothing because we haven't uh, vertex painted. So we go back to vertex paint. Here you see we have uh, some options to draw, to blur, to average, to smear that. Here you can take brushes for sculpting, white painting, texture painting and so on. Um, yeah, that is all this stuff. Um, then you can say here how uh, should be the radius of your paint. You now you see we have a big one. When we go down we have a little one to paint on. The strength you can uh, set and here some other stuff that you want. Good. But we want to paint now there. So for that we simply um, take here our color. We are in add mode. We want to add some new. And go here to black and try to paint on. I must look where we see that best. Or we take it substrate, I must try that. Yeah, that works. But the strange map is one. And we have to go here with the subdivision off for a moment. Yeah, so we see it here better. So um, we want to mark the down part of that. So we simply paint now here over the wall. So we have now that here. And that should be a factor for mixing. So what we do we can now um, go here to the groups settings and there you will see here is an option vertex colors a box and when you paint there created this group name is col for color and that we can take here as a factor when we say add input and attribute we bring it there then he want to name of the attribute and the name is col so we type it in there col and take it as a factor in the mixing and now you see we have here the most and here the the wall that is turned. So we have to switch here the inputs of the mix shader. We make the one at the down part and the other at the top part. And then we have the wall with the mixed um, grass there. And when we now take there the subdivision again, then you see we can handle how fine that should be and we have here now the option to say um, that second grass one uh, to give them another size 2 we can duplicate shift D the mapping take it from the texture UV coordinates and give them as a vector that one for grass and then we can handle here separately the the uh, scale of the most there. So when we now paint uh, here with one size, then that looks finer. 
or with a zero one, then it's real fine. But that is too fine. So take your seven or such. So there you can handle the size of them. Um, when we now apply the second one, then we see we have that. And we need a new unwrap, so, oh, and we need a ply before. So, moment, back to object mode. There we see now our stuff there. Why we don't see it so good? Because the sun comes not from this side, so we grab them there and rotate them to the wall so rotate and rotate that there wow <coughs> good now you see better here good the only thing you see that um, when the light comes, fall two. Um, don't make sense here because there is no displacement there. And to get that there, you can put the output of the mix shader into the displacement. Better you take here the wall texture into the displacement. Now you see we have here this displacement makes it deeper but it is too deep so we need here a math node so we go to converter math bring it between and there we take a multiply and then give them a value of 0 3 0 3 or more so zero zero five or such then you see looks a little bit better but we have now the wall with their mouse on and that is what vertex painting is you have here a group them with a name and you can take them by using attribute give the name of this uh, group vertex group and that you can use as a mix factor to mix two textures like you would and you can paint that. Good, thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next tutorial, bye.